Done, done. Let's do an initial save here, which actually I'm gonna overwrite this. That was my little test save from before. All right, let's pause. I like that we got decent amounts of mountain. That's nice. Uh, we got the little road over here, which ends right there, the literal, literal end of the road, with a bunch of APCs, war walkers, some tank traps. All right, something happened over here. Exciting. <gasps> Guinea pigs. This ancient giant wheel. This is the uh, wheels the, the gu guinea pigs used to run around in. Settle in the canyon. You mean here? That does look real nice. That looks real nice. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Ruins to the right of the Warwalker shells. The Warwalker's here. There's ruins here. Ruins there. Oh, I like this start. This is going to be fun. Makes sense for Mining Corp to settle here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, because the, uh, the, uh, smash stuff. Maybe there was a war in the past. Oh, yeah. This is the attack to destroy. I do hate this. I find it so annoying to micro these things. So you can't even just, like, recruit someone and have them auto-fire. You've got to manually target everything, which I hate. But, but yeah, settling over here makes great sense. We can wall this area off immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and steel at the top of the, right over here. Like, right in there. We've got silver, more steel, more steel, more steel. Ooh, what is this? A diamond? Okay, so, am I writing a mod that added diamonds? Because I did notice one of our artifacts was made out of diamond, and here we can mine diamond. I must have added a mod that does this. This, Or is it part of the base game now? Because it definitely didn't used to be. I assumed, when I saw the little glint over here, I'm like, is that uranium or jade? <gasps> the jewelry mod! That's what it is. Yes, I did add a jewelry mod, which I haven't played with before. Excellent. Okay, well... I suppose the thing to do... Ancient ancient bed. Can we actually use this? My claim, can I reinstall somewhere? No. What are these? Locker banks. And lamps. So I can deconstruct them, but I can't reinstall these. Still, I may as well claim so that we can have some people sleep here. What are these locker banks? Do they do anything? No. So probably I could deconstruct these locker banks. Now I claim the beds. But yeah, all I can do is deconstruct. Which is not the same as uninstall. Got some heal root over here. These lamps. I think it's going to be the same thing. Yeah, all I can do is deconstruct for material. I mean, we could build a quick little house around here. Although, I don't even know if we can make these lamps work again. I'll leave the beds for now, because technically our people might want to sleep on there. Most of the area doesn't even give you anything when you deconstruct. Really? Okay, tell you what. Let's cancel the deconstruction for now. We'll get back to it. I know we can move these urns. That's that's one thing we can, we can keep. Remember when you claim anything, auto-generates a home area. Ah, thank you. Yeah. There's going to be a stupid cleaning area around here. Thank you. All right. Let's just go right away. We're going to set up a stockpile zone. So some of our resources, we're going to get just moved over here. Uh, I don't think we need it, but we'll set up a dumping stockpile zone over here as well. Um, I'll, get, I'll get a shout out to... Someone suggested this numbers mod. It's amazing. Hang on. We got to wait for our people to actually arrive properly on the map. But this numbers mod, you can like look at like people and different things and actually check like more of their numeric stats over here and things like that to see like how fast or slow everyone is about different things it's amazing it's real good real 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 good um i kind of feel like well there's no kind of feel everyone should have mining turned on all the time at least for now it makes sense Right? Certainly management won't want to get their hands dirty in the long run, but for now it makes sense. Oh yeah, I did install a fishing mod. Uh, we do have some water over here. This is water, right? Yeah, deep water. It's kind of far from where we're setting up. Oh, there's some more over here. Maybe we can fish in these ponds later. Too bad there's not a little pond within our little area, but that's going to be okay. Unforbidden again? Uh, allow everything. There you go. Oh, because of the crash landing stuff. Yes, thank you. 
Well, let's come over here. Let's chop down some trees. So we can use it for a little construction. Although, honestly, this is a little weird. It's going to be very different from how we normally start. But should we just get to mining right away and make things out of metal immediately? Mine out a pond. You can always go on little fishing trips. Build Team Spirit. That does sound really cool. Hmm. We do have a little starting wood. I will chop a little bit more. Yeah. Claiming random junk confused the raid into attacking the junk for you. Oh, may well, maybe, actually. Close the pre-built room of the table. That's true. There is the steel table over here. I kind of like that idea. At least the starter one. What are these walls? They are steel walls and everything. Anyway, I'm going to claim all this right now. But yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Steal everything, even though it's not very efficient. That's been claimed, so it'll get repaired. Oh, uh, yeah, they'll spend a bunch of time repairing. That's true if we claim everything. Well, it's too late. This has all been claimed. Womp womp. <clears throat> you need metal for the nutrient paste dispenser. I mean, we did start with some. Um, but yeah, we can mine some immediately. We hopefully won't use too much in construction. Yeah. Do we have a mare? What is that? I'm not used to that. Let's deal with the mare button. Mm -hmm. I'm Malfurious. I am planning on doing the Let Dare. Uh, next weekend. I'm a little scared. Energy levels get worse and worse all the time. Like, I'm just gonna die from this. Oh, let's take a quick look. Who's our, um... Who do we want to have hunt? Mm -hmm. Same animal negotiation. Hunter stealth. So 55% on a release. Who also has our best shooting um, skill. So, April Lease. Where, where do we land? Where's our guns? Over here somewhere. Might have already been hauled. There it is. Get you the rifle. Uh, and then Borbro is going to get the pistol. And that means j -Last is going to get the knife. Okay. Yeah, they're going to be busy doing a lot of hauling right now, which is unfortunate. It's kind of a waste of time in a time where things are really time sensitive, but we'll see. <laughs> Vomiting. Yep. Oh, yeah. So our animals over here, we want to train. Oh, that's sort. There you go. Shift click. We want to train our puppers to do hauling, although whether or not we are going to spend time... Doing that? I don't know. Now, you do have double passion, April Lease. This is just pretty good. It does use some extra food to train them, but then having these dogs be useful is really handy. We might train them in rescue as well. I'm going to start with the hall, and then we can enable the rescue later on. Building. Digging. Well, I guess the dig is more higher priority than hall. Yeah. You know what, I'm going to bring the mine down to a four right now. Because as long as we have the material, we don't really need to mine quite yet. Or yeah, we could just set a, a high priority haul for everything over here. That might be a good idea. Uh, haul urgently. Uh, ooh, not the rocks. There you go, because that's a higher priority. So this will get hauled to our stockpile ASAP and make things go a little bit better. It's whiskey and chocolate. Okay. Just send the road to the entrance of your base. Well, that is a cool idea. What is a slate flagstone? All right, we'll see. Thank you very much, True True Evo. Thank you. Making sure the whiskey fund doesn't run low. Uh, cheers to that. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
Dun, 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 dun. Uh, oh, that's swell. Oh, there's more steel over here, too. It's we'll put an all hole urgently on that as well, just to get into the base. Okay. More skin chocolate. Oh, Nacho! Thank you! Daylight saving times. Oh! Well, you didn't miss much, actually. We just started. We missed the setup. Oh, you've only Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is really good. I really enjoyed it. Worst Fallout 3 quest, in my opinion, is the quest those dealing with the fire ants. I don't remember that. It's been a long time. I really enjoyed Fallout 3. In fact, I was someone who, when I first played New Vegas, my first time, I didn't enjoy it as much as Fallout 3 because there was something about the personal story of Fallout 3. And I like the whole, like, callback to Fallout 1 where you were a vault dweller and that whole kind of vibe. I mean, which is sort of, sort of foolish in that New Vegas is a much better game and I much enjoyed playing it more, you know, long term. And yeah, it's like, yes, it's clearly a stronger game. Um, but I really thought Fallout 3 was quite good and that it should probably have been enjoyed a little bit more. I don't know if it, it, um, uh, it aged as well, though. All right, a little bit of farming. You're putting on some flak pants. All right, that's going to be fine. Consuming some meals. So it's interesting that April Lease is doing mining. I guess you had no more hauling to do. But oh, you've got the passion for growing. Let me actually twist it this way. Oh, let's get some, some crops down. Let's get some growing zones. Uh, sort it out. Maybe, maybe just over here. This is all standard soil. I don't think we've got any rich soil over here. There's an overlay for that, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, just, just right. I mean, there's slightly richer ones over here. Maybe I'll, I'll set up some farms over on the right hand side. We can con focus on building structures over here. That seems okay. So how, how big of a farm, the growing areas do you guys start with? You know, sometimes I make a couple of five by fives or six by sixes or something. Oh, we do have the berries as well, yeah. I'm gonna make one, is it rice that grows super fast? Yeah. I'm gonna make one rice just to get a quick turnaround. And then um, corn I think is really like work efficient. So we'll get the rice, which is less work efficient, but we get some immediate turnaround. And overall, what we want to do is have consistent uh, corn. And then... I don't want to overwhelm us with farming jobs early on. Maybe I'll just build a couple little areas here for a little bit of heal root coming in, assuming we've got the skill. Well, and cotton plants. There's heal root. Yeah, we don't have the skill, that's fine. We got the strawberries. Mm -hmm. Fertility is all 100% over here, I just checked it. We don't have any like super rich soil, but it's fine over here as well. <laughs> That's rich soil on the left side. I mean, yeah, but. The MERS to remember each square farm gives one item per day, which is worth 0.05 nutrition. Are they really balanced that way? Like all three of the crops? So the advantage to going to the long-term one is you don't have to plant them as often. It's 15 plots of rice per colonist or so. Really? It's not a bad thing. These are 30. So we have two food plots of 30. So theoretically that's enough to support four colonists. And we do have some puppies. But we also have like, we could do hunting and there's also the, uh, the berries and stuff like that. So it's going to be okay. Devil Strand? Oh, put the Devil Strand there. Yeah. Or we'll, maybe we'll wait until we get like just greenhouses and stuff like that. Less with nutrient paste is more efficient. Is it really? So people don't like it, but it's efficient? Oh, that's nice. Do I need to turn construction on for more people? Jay, what are you doing? Are you the only one doing anything? Oh, you're hauling more stuff. Um, how come you're not doing construction? Oh, because of the it's because it's important hauling. Yeah, but other people should be hauling instead of you. Mm -hmm. um, I think the other thing too, corn is the most sensitive to um, terrain fertility, and potatoes is the least sensitive. So if you've got shitty terrain, grow potatoes. If you got really rich terrain, grow corn. I think that's one of the other things. 
I wasn't thinking so much hydroponics actually for the Devil's Strand. I was thinking a greenhouse. Although I guess we can grow stuff year round. So yeah, so one of the problems sometimes with Devil's Strand is sometimes you, you can't really grow it properly in one growing period. But here we basically have year round growth. Technically there's a 10 day period in December. That's not part of the growing period. Whether or not it gets cold enough to actually kill the crops, it'll see. Pockets are great for wool. Yeah, we might tame those. I don't think that's what we want to do like immediately early on, but we can consider that. Let's go. Um, I'm just gonna plop down some sleeping spots in here. I know, I know, I know. It's still like outdoors and stuff, but and we do have those beds out in the wilderness. But I'm gonna get people to sleep here. Um, in fact, I'm gonna flag these as like deconstruct so they don't get used for sleep. Yeah, year-round crowds can get cold snaps as well. Yeah, which is fine. <laughs> but yeah, if we become tunnelers, we might go and do like a fungus-based like food vibe at some point. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Any pigs are good fur, but you have to commit genocide on them for decent amounts. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be cool to get a little bit of ranching going on with these alpacas. Oh my god, that was quick! Wow! Wow, that happened fast! Aprilis and Borbra! Wow. Tried to attract by playfully making fun of her ambitions. Borbra was attracted. So, uh, Borbra just negged. Or no, Aprilis negged Borbra into a relationship. Amazing. Fungus and beer seems we're dwarves. Yeah, whiskey and chocolate. Mm, just maybe. That may have been some of the inspiration for some of this. More whiskey and chocolate. MJ! Hey, MJ! As a corporate drone, I find this whole premise triggering and derogatory. Anyway, here's something for the coffee and donut fund. <laughs> uh, oh, Timberwolf, that is pretty funny too. Hey, baby, you've got no future. Want to bang? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Oh, it's so bad. I love it so much. <laughs> Don't forget to report to HR in this relationship. Yeah, you're going to have to fill in the form. It's form, uh, it's form 69. We need recreation. I mean, we need lots of things, game. Chillax. <laughs> Office romances never last. <laughs> Lead to bad feelings. Do, do, do. Our slaves named intern to call it. That's probably what's going to happen. We shall see. Jay, yeah. Oh, are you resting over here? Really? There. I'm gonna flag these as for, yeah. I guess they'd already claimed that. Yeah, claim these spots. I mean, those other beds would be more comfortable than sleeping on the floor here, but those other beds are in the middle of nowhere. It'll take you like hours just to walk. They always said it's medical. Can't move those beds, unfortunately. Hey, level three in plants, huzzah! We can assign the sleeping spots manually, but they'll, they'll go and claim these. Now that the other ones aren't allowed for them, they'll go and claim these things. Let's uh let's haul that rock out of the way because it's gonna it's be slow for going through the door. Da -da -da. We got more whiskey and chocolate. True Echo, thank you. Of course I made a typo in my username. Hate typing on the phone. At least I got an excuse to tip the fund up some more. Office romance. Thank you, Echo. I'm sorry there's a typo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's totally okay if you want to go at watch F1 qualifying as long as you don't come back and and spoil it. Mm -hmm. I have flight oxygen not included. Um, not very much and not in a while. In fact, it may have still been in pretty early access the last time we played it. The first time I played it was super early access. Yeah, I want to make sure this rock gets hauled so that we don't go super slow through it. But there you go. Everyone's sleeping. They don't have a shared bed yet, the lovers. We'll, we'll work on it, I promise. I guess I'll fast forward through the night. <laughs> yeah, there is, um, there's these berry bushes which are ready to go. I guess what I can do is I can actually right click and say harvest all fully grown plants on the map. Oh, which it's whiskey. Apparently is gonna include trees. Okay. That's uh not entirely what I wanted. Let's do a bunch of canceling here. So I know like I'm doing small squares because there's actually a maximum selection box size. Okay. All right, so that's going to do them. Oh, 
Oh, it could have canceled this way. You know what? Actually, let's do that. I'm surprised there's not harvest all of a type. Now, we will set up a management table and use that, maybe. I mean, I know there's a home area option. But even that, that will still designate all the trees in the area. It's whiskey and chocolate! I thought that... Hold shift to include only plants. Hold control to include only trees, but... There you go. That does work. Even though, it was annoying because it said, like, plants, so I'm like, yeah, I just want to do plants. Okay, that'll do that. That includes a little heel root over here, and a few of the other bushes, some more heel root there. Now, that is designating some plants other places in the map, but I'm okay with that. All right, we got more whiskey and chocolate. Who dis? We got Brother Beard. Thank you very much, Brother Beard. Oh, Quill, puns for you on my almost birthday. The CEO of IKEA was elected president of Sweden. I hear he's still putting together his cabinet. Boo. Do, do, do. Well, you can double click to select everything of a plant and then, oh, then maybe the, the harvest only. But I was kind of, I, I didn't want to have to like find like the little instances of individual things, but maybe we'll do that next time to do it in view. That's normally what I do for like trees and stuff. It's a lot of like double clicking. Oh, does that not work on the trees? I do that on the stone all the time to grab a particular category. I don't know. Anyway, we also have Celtoid. Celtoid, thank you very much for your contribution to the uh, whiskey and chocolate fund. Uh, thanks for the, all the chill streams and VODs. Just found out from my manager they'll be getting converted to an ex from an external vendor to an internal full-time employee soon. I want to share a whiskey with someone. I assume that's very good news. It's a sort of corpo speak that's also very on brand with the stream that's happening today. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, <laughs> Is it external vendor to internal full-time employee? <laughs> oh, we need doggy sleep spots. That's true, too. Well, now that this is roofed up, uh, that's still under furniture, right? Animal sleep spots? Yeah. I kind of want to put them both over here. here. We'll put them next to the door. There we are. <laughs> do, do, do. 